What's going on everyone? My name is Under the Radar and welcome to a very special video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, this league that I joined. Um, my buddy Kyle A is in this league. Uh, so it was uh, Randy, HLD Productions, uh, Yoku, Kershaka. Uh, there's, this is a very long list of coaches and I know a lot of them. At least I follow a lot of them on Twitter and I know the good majority of them in person. And somebody dropped from this league, and it's called the ABL, the Amateur Battle League. Now, I know that uh, I've literally, since 2014, when I first did YouTube, I have only done singles draft leagues. So whenever the opportunity came up for me to join a doubles draft league, I literally jumped on it like a bitch in heat. <laughs> I could not pass up this opportunity. Uh, one, amazing new content for YouTube. Two, I would be able to use a bunch of Pokemon that I've never used before because uh, I changed a lot of this team, by the way. So this, how the team looks now is not how it looked before. Um, real quick, I want to do something. Let me go ahead and do... Let's do that. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Um, so I didn't want to pass that up. I also wanted to have a really good opportunity to show off some really, really, really cool mechanics that'll be coming out in Pokemon Home, which will be coming out hopefully within the next couple weeks. Um, so I joined the Amateur Battle League. I inherited a team that is 0-4, so I'm already starting at the bottom of the league. And I'm going to be uh, playing this league. I'm going to try to make playoffs. There's eight weeks left, so I can still go 8-4 and four if I win out and make playoffs and be phenomenal. Um... However, the team that I inherited, in my humble opinion, was complete and utter ass cheeks. <laughs> it was awful. It had nothing that I liked. It had nothing that I wanted. It had very few things that I think is even viable in VGC. It had very few things that I thought could be useful to work together on a team in doubles. I don't know why I'm saying VGC. It's doubles, which kind of similar, but there's no uh, item clause. And you get to draft one Dynamax Pokemon. And you can just determine which one it is, and you can Dynamax it. And uh, if you draft a Gigantamax form, you can also Gigantamax it. So really, really, really cool, um, really cool way of thinking of it. So um, I'm trying to remember what this person had before I dropped it. Actually, I can probably pull it up in Discord to give you guys, like, the full thing. Okay. That's right, he had uh, Greedent as his Gigantamax Pokemon, which, going to be 100% honest with you, is awful, because <laughs> uh, it relies on Belly Drum to be super offensive. But So, um, the four Pokemon that I picked up whenever I inherited the team are Clefairy, Meowstic, Lantern, and Beartick. And the ones that I dropped were Greedent, Rotom Frost, Barbarical, and Growlithe. So, I think I made some pretty big improvements to the team. Uh, got rid of... Growlithe, which is pretty much useless, and then Rotom Frost, which I think is also pretty much useless, unless you have Hail Up, uh, so I got rid of both of those for, um, some pretty good substitutions, both of which become infinitely better whenever Pokemon Home comes out. Uh, so let's go ahead and just talk about the team and why I have it. Uh, the first Pokemon that I actually want to talk about is my Silvali, because Silvali is the one that whenever I took over, I made it my, uh, Dynamax captain, uh, for one simple reason, and that is because it has the ability Arceus system. Uh, a lot of Gigantamax and Dynamax Pokemon, they're really good at what they do because they have a really wide move pool. Well, this Pokemon has literally an infinite stab move pool uh, with just having multi-attack, which got unbelievably buffed this gen by turning to 120 base power. So I have a stab 120 base power move coming off of Silvali, which has pretty good stats. It's pretty much a base 100 all around. And I can give it any typing that I want, I can use it however I want, and I can Dynamax it. This gives me pretty much an unlimited possibility, and I can tailor this to do whatever I want, whenever I want, in any battle that I want. So this is just a really good glue to the entire team. I can build a team of five, and then look at Silvali and be like, hey, what am I weak to? And then design Silvali to do that. And that's why I made this thing my Dynamax captain. Super, super versatile Pokemon. I love it a lot, and I'm really excited to use it. Great coverage. Uh, pretty much everything and it also still gets access to parting shot even before post home so i can use uh parting shot to set up a lot of other stuff and that'd be really cool uh aegislash is a really nice pokemon because it does get access to king shield 
for stance change, and it gets access to a lot of really good stab moves, uh, but aside from that, it's actually really easily walled in this format because you have two Pokemon to wall it, and you have two Pokemon to break it down, so I don't think Aegislash is that good. I personally wouldn't have drafted it at all. I would have rather drafted Duraludon if it was up to me. Um, so I don't really like Aegislash, but it's still cool. I can still see where I can do some nice stuff. So I'm keeping it on the team for that reason. But uh, after that, I started looking at what I can make pairs out of leftovers. And when I tell you there's about 50,000 coaches in this league and there was no fully evolved Pokemon left aside from what I picked up, I'm not exaggerating. There was like literally nothing left to pick up. I was hoping that I could get like Perserker, Perserkers drafted to be able to like boost uh, this thing's Steel type moves with uh, Steely Spirit. I was hoping to be able to get something like, uh, I was hoping to be able to trade Sableye. Like I was hoping to be able to do literally anything, couldn't do anything. Uh, so I picked up what I picked up. Uh, first I'll start with Bear Tick because I think Bear Tick has the most potential with uh, Slush Rush. What this allows me to do is this allows me to use Ice as the max move, set up Hail for my Bear Tick, and then be able to go in with my Bear Tick. Um, this thing also has really phenomenal move coverage in Liquidation, Super Power, um, Icicle Crash, Low Kick. It has like such, such, such good move pool uh, that has such a good move pool that I thought that it would be a really good uh, late game potential threat that my opponent won't think about having Hail Up with Slush Rush and being able to outspeed my opponent's team. So that's kind of what I was hoping for with that. Then we have... Uh, after these three, the next Pokemon that I definitely wanted to keep was Hitmontop, Fake Out, Wide Guard, Quick Guard, phenomenal Pokemon. Um, Galarian Mr. Mime, definitely wanted to keep that whenever I was looking at making transactions because I think that it is really, really unique. If there is a G-Max Lapras, I can run Screen Cleaner and I'm able to get rid of uh, G-Max Resonance immediately. I'm able to get rid of Dual Screens from Grim Snarl immediately. Uh, a bunch of really good utility moves that I can use with Screen Cleaner. So I definitely wanted to keep this. And it also gives me a really, really good Aviolite user, which I think is super important to have because it just adds a lot of bulk that people don't really expect. Um, Next up, I definitely wanted to keep Serena. Reason being with Serena, I think that Queenly Majesty is absolutely phenomenal. It blocks priority uh, on both sides of my of my team. So like both my Pokemon are protected from priority. I have this amazing attack stat, really, really nice defenses, and really strong attacks. It has high jump kick, play rough, power whip, really, really, really strong Pokemon. Uh, so I think that this in combination with like a special Silvali can be a really good breaker, or like these two in combination can be really, really good because this doesn't, like it can run freeze dry, but it's not strong enough to be able to break through bulky waters, whereas this can. So I feel as though these Pokemon are actually pretty good in doubles. And then I started looking at everything else and everything else I was like, eh. This is what I can get rid of, and that's where I was looking at having uh, Greedent, uh, Barbarical, and Rotom Frost. That's why I was looking at everything else, and I started looking at Clefairy, and I took Clefairy because of Friend Guard. Little did I know, Friend Guard wasn't legal yet, so uh, I picked it for the anticipation of Post Home. But what this did was it gave me a really, really good uh, bulky Pokemon once home is out that supports the ally. So, uh, for example, if I have Friend Guard, once Pokemon Home comes out, of course, if I have Friend Guard and then I have Silvali, Silvali is never going to die because I can boost up its defense with like Max Steel, Max Ground. If I'm like Silvali Ground to be able to boost its Spadef, I have Max, like Max Fist or Max Fighting. Uh, what's it called? Max Knuckle. If I'm a fighting type to boost the attack, like I can boost Savali however I want to with Clefairy by its side to make it a little bit more bulky. Really, really like that idea. And whenever I started thinking about that, I was like, okay, Mandibuzz, you're a cool dude. You're a bulky dude. You can probably help me out a lot to chip down my opponent's team and be really nice. And one thing that I really liked about this is the fact that it has the ability Overcoat. Which means that things like Butterfree can't Rage Powder me. I can't be Spored by Shinotic. I can't be... Um, powdered by things that get actual powder uh and i'm also not hit by things like uh sandstorm which is in hail which is really good in case i ever do want to bring uh savali rock or savali ice to have bear tick sweep so really really good synergy there uh and it also is really nice at deterring things on the double side of my opponent so really really liked that and then i started looking at these last three and these last three i didn't really care for at all i took meowstic because i thought it had prankster little did i know 
it didn't <laughs> until Pokemon Home comes out. So another Pokemon that realistically, once Pokemon Home comes out, it's going to be so much better because it gets access to Prankster. I'll be able to Prankster T-Wave. I'll be able to Prankster dual screens i'll be able to do pretty much prankster everything uh with this pokemon it has a phenomenal move pool absolutely phenomenal and it is also pretty offensive whenever you look at its stats um and so meowstic female is also pretty offensive so i really really like meowstic i think it's really cool and it gives me another fake out user i think i have three of them four of them now because i think this also gets fake out no it doesn't i know i know him on top i know mr mime gets fake out and then i know yeah, I know these three all get fake out, which is really good. I like having fake out spam just pretty much neutralizes an opponent. Really like it. I took Lantern because of the ability to have Volt Absorb because I do have some things that don't really want to take Electro type attacks like Mandibuzz, Sovali Water, for instance, things like that. And whenever Pokemon Home comes out, I'll have Water Absorb, which is really nice if I ever face Dracovish, uh, things of that nature. So I definitely wanted to be able to have uh, Lantern on the team. And then Weezing is something that I don't really care for. <sighs> I can see me doing some really cool stuff with like Misty Surge plus an item like Misty Seed on something like that I could see. Neutralizing gas is not that good for me in general because I don't have Golisopod. I can't get Golisopod. Um, and there's nothing else that really benefits from it. So neutralizing gas is there mainly just to disrupt, disrupt my opponent if I choose to bring it. And then last but not least, we have Levitate to give me a ground immunity, but I don't have any Earthquakers aside from Hitmontop. So I don't think Galarian Weezing is that good on this team, but I do think that it's good enough to where it warranted to stay on the team and not to drop it for something dumb like Galarian Meowth for Steely Spirit. Like, I, I just don't think that that's a good move. So this is the team that you guys will be seeing um i'm not going to be doing team builders for this because i'm trying to win literally every game it's just going to be an additional battle um i will be putting pokey pastes in the description of every single pokemon i bring when i do upload the battles if you guys want to see you can but this is going to be um just an extra upload for you guys that i'm really excited uh for you guys to see but as i said uh abl I think it goes up on Sundays, so after the WBE, which is really, really nice. And uh, I will have other uploads for you guys during the week along with the Hackmons battles that I've been having. So uh, I'm really excited for this extra content for you guys and something new for me that I haven't done in like six years. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. And remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Bye-bye.